What if you can generate videos that never end? This AI tool can generate infinite length videos and create shows with multiple episodes. Let me show you. I'll have a link in the description below. As always, this tool is called Sky Rails, and you can see all the different AI tools that they have here. There is so many, and each tool offers a ton of features. But for this video here, we're going to cover two main things. We're gonna cover AI video and AI drama, and these tools are different than what you'd use with Kling or VO3. So let me show you. We can start here with a video and it gives us a user interface that you probably are accustomed to. We can type in a piece of text here. We can upload a starting image. And what's cool about this is we can have a first frame and a last frame and it will fill in everything in between. So we are going to start with a prompt here, a pig flying over a farm, nice and simple. They have two different modes here so we can pick which mode we want for this video here i'm going to pick auto you can also choose the aspect ratio and then we can choose the duration so you can choose all the way up to 30 seconds and i know in the intro i said infinite just wait bear with me i will show you what i mean for this video here we're going to keep it at five seconds i don't think we want to watch a pig flying over a farm for longer than that we can also choose the resolution and we can also choose the style. So for this one here, let's pick this 3D cartoon style. We can choose the quantity that we want. So let's just pick two and we are going to hit create. So we are now generating our video very similar to any other tool. There are some features on here that are a little different, but we're gonna get to that shortly. My generated pig video was done and it looks something like this and you can kind of see what it looks like, but Part of what I did is I clicked the clip here and I clicked extend and then I told it what I wanted to extend the clip by. So we actually started out with a five second clip and then after it regenerated the first clip and then I extended it, we ended up with a nine second clip. So you can see what it looks like here. We have our pig, the wings, he's looking around, his wings come out and he's kind of shaking, he's getting excited and he just flies up into the sky. We can come back here, we can click this clip and keep extending it if we want, but that is enough with pigs flying. The next really cool thing is there is this subject reference thing we can do. So we can upload a subject reference. So in this case, I uploaded AI Dana, and then I uploaded a can of Coke. And I said, she's holding up the can of Coke and you can kind of see what she does here. So there is AI Dana holding up a can of Coke, but we can even bring this to the next level with audio. Where this tool gets really cool is there's this lip sync option. So we can actually upload an existing video or one that we have. So we can actually pick the one with Dana with the Coke, we can type up what we want her to say, drink Coke, be happy. We can decide if we want it to be a narration or a lip sync, so we want lip sync. We can choose even the voice we want Dana to speak in. And now we have AI Dana that was generated with a Coke can and just Dana, and with the lip sync feature, we combine it all, and she will say, drink Coke, be happy. Watch this. Drink Coke, be happy. <laughs> drink Coke, be happy. That is wild. It looks Drink Coke. so good. Be happy. We can hit this plus symbol here and then we can hit use last frame. So it's gonna use the last frame from the last video clip, which is Dana here. And now we can actually add effects. So this is very similar to what you'll find on some other websites. So we can have Dana like flying in the air or maybe we can have her being splashed which might make sense because she's like cooling off because she's drinking Coke on a hot day. So we can pick this and we can hit generate. So it is going to generate one clip to the next and now it's going to actually use the effects to generate and make a continuous clip. So we have both of our clips generated now. Here's the second one, which is the newest one. You can see Dana sitting there or standing there with her Coke. She gets splashed. She's having a really refreshing moment. So we can hit the lip sync feature. We're going to go here from assets. We're going to click this and we're going to hit confirm. And now we're going to add a narration. So we are going to opt for Nathan, which is a narration voice and we can hit submit it is going to regenerate the second clip now of Dana where she's kind of getting splashed and we're starting to build a Coca-Cola advertisement. All right, so check this out. Here's our first clip. Drink Coke, be happy. Here's our second clip. Coke, it's refreshing. We can now click this again and we can say use last frame. We can add another effect if we want 
or we can just kind of type up whatever we want. We can make this clip extend forever. So maybe we want Dana to just kind of like shake while she's happy. And now we can hit create and we are starting to build out a little commercial, a little scene for Coca-Cola. I have no idea how this happened these videos and my creativity is wild sometimes. So this clip here is almost done generating. Just a quick brief recap. We have image or text we can generate just from an image or text like a video and that is pretty standard but the effects in combination with the subject reference and the ability to extend clips with voiceovers makes this tool extremely powerful and we haven't even touched the surface yet of what is capable or what's available on this tool. There's more to come in this video and if you're enjoying content like this, don't forget to subscribe at Cover AI on a daily basis. So once this clip is done, we can actually hit export and it's going to export the entire clip or all the individual clips as one video file so we can watch it here. Drink Coke, be happy. Coke. It's refreshing. So it goes quiet because it didn't add any other like narration or anything. So I could go to like Sino AI, generate a click audio clip, put it in the background. And now we have this version here. Drink Coke, be happy. Drink Coke, Coke it's refreshing. And that is just AI video. We still have this to go through here, so let's get going. We have some options. So we have inspiration, and we can actually just type up our own script of whatever we want, and we are going to build and make a TV show with actual episodes. We can also upload a script, so if we have a script, we can do that, or we can upload a novel. So if we have a novel with a ton of detail, we can do that as well, but for the sake of this video, we're gonna pick inspiration. When you are on inspiration, there are templates at the bottom here so we can pick a template to get started or we can hit more and we can see all the different templates that they have so we can just kind of pick a template and go from there. I've come to Gemini and I said I want this level of detail but I want to be able to potato who is living a double life as an FBI agent. So I'm going to put in the prompt or the starting prompt that they gave me into Gemini with my prompt that I want my story to be about because I'm a little bit lazy and for the sake of time this just makes it a little bit easier. We're going to take the entire script that it gave us over here, we're going to hit copy, we're going to come over here and hit paste. Before we click the big yellow button, we can decide how many episodes we want. So we can pick one, five, ten. So just for the sake of this clip here, we're going to pick five. We're going to have a five episode story. It took our inspiration on the left and it has generated five different episodes. Now we can make our characters. While playing around with this tool, I learned something important. It can only do like human characters. It can't do an actual potato or a clothes. So this is what our spud is going to look like. We can click change look and we can adjust how the person looks and we can add like references based off the library that they have. So you can see the library of people and we can add a reference and then we can regenerate, but we can't actually do a spud. So something important to note that it is for humans only. We can also adjust the voice, but I'm gonna leave the voices as is and we can click generate storyboard. It is done generating and it has generated single images throughout the entire scene. And you can see this is scene one. And as we scroll down, we have scene two and so on and so forth. So we can actually click generate one click video. It is going to generate all the different images into a continuous video story, creating effectively the episode that we want based off our story. So this is going to take some time to generate all of these clips, but it should be one continuous actual story. Every single clip is done going from an image to a video. So we can actually hit play and we can play through each and every individual clip and each clip combined will make our movie. So for this, I've done scene one and scene two. We can click edit video in the top right and we can hit start. And it is going to start creating our video for us. We now have a video editor with all the different clips that we have created. On the left here, we have subtitles. So we can actually adjust if we want subtitles. We can add filters to our TV show. We can add transitions and bring them down. It's just a standard video editor. We can hit up here, export, and we can download our video. Let's see what we created. First time I'm looking at it and you're going to see my live reaction. I have not seen it yet. So let's watch it together. I love the starting music. You 
You've got something on the expiration date corruption? The fresh elite are manipulating the... What was that sound? Oh no, the yeast packet. What about the yeast? It's, it's bubbling. Finn, get out now! The fresh elite they're planning. All right, hold on, hold on. Let's just pause it for a second. I think the background audio is too high for the voices, but it is pretty cool in the sense that it is consistent characters that are, are talking. So I think there is some like modification. I'd have to play around with the settings. It is extremely powerful. So this is just kind of scratching the surface of what's possible, but let's continue watching. Finn. Got something the, oh no the yeast it's bub so like yeast is bubbling and yeast like explodes and you can kind of see the explosion that's what our scene is it's pretty cool i guess i want to just backtrack to the beginning of the video when i mentioned all the different things this tool can do so if we go to ai tools again we just scratch the surface of what's possible there are so many settings and options as you go throughout so i used about 1700 credits so roughly like $15 worth of credits, like two of these packages, so you understand how much this costs. Let me know in the comments below, what are your thoughts on this tool? I personally think it is incredibly powerful. If you use it right, the number of options and features that it has access to, the fact you can create like infinite clips, keep extending, or just really quickly, you can have like an entire scene generate for you. And truthfully, if I went through and like fine tune each part of the scene, we'd get a much better result. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to subscribe if you like AI. I cover AI on a daily basis. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like. It tells the algorithm you enjoy this type of content and you want to see more of it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow with another AI video.